Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks Video Tutorial Part 12. In this video tutorial, I am going to talk about how to rebind a specific routine, which can be uh, a UDF user defined function, SQL stored procedure, or trigger. In this slide, I'm, we are talking about uh, what are the limitations and workaround for it. So, the limitation is actually when you create a stored procedure, the DBM actually implicitly creates a uh, uh, a package and builds it. It's done implicitly. It's done implicitly for a stored procedure or UDF or trigger. The problem is we cannot map the particular package name for a particular routine name. Uh, even if you use the syscatalog tables, you will have the syscat dot routines table and syscat dot packages table. They provide no mapping, saying that for this routine name, this is the package name. So, if we are able to somehow identify from the uh, packages table uh, then we can issue a rebind package package name directly for the rebind operation we can do it in a specific manner uh, let's say consider a very hypothetical scenario like under that package schema you have only one routine so that's like a hypothetical scenario uh, that's the third workaround we uh, i have highlighted here so uh, we can uh, do that provided uh, we are able to identify the package name for the corresponding routine so what are the other two workarounds uh, we can drop and recreate the routine so in which case a new package will be created with optimized plan and uh, new statistic uh, with the latest statistics considering the latest statistics but this is generally considered as a uh, performance uh, heavy operation like uh, the drop and recreate of the routine is considered as a performance heavy operation so other uh, option is to rebind all packages using db2 or bind so this can be obviously done only during the maintenance window because we don't know the specific uh, package name of the routine so what we are doing is during the maintenance window time any case uh, we are running the db2 or bind uh, uh, utility as part of our maintenance so that time let the package get uh, rebounded so it will come up with the all optimized plans and statistics and all that so so that is one way of addressing it but the overhead of rebinding unintended packages also are there that's why we are doing it in the maintenance window the solution is to use rebind routine package so this is like a under available uh, under sysproc schema so you will have to call this particular stored procedure sysproc dot rebind underscore routine underscore package we can pass three arguments to this uh, there are actually two variations of the same routine uh, one is taking three arguments and another one is taking five arguments uh, the first argument is routine type p t f like p for procedure t for trigger f for udf and the second argument is schema name dot routine name you have to pass as a single string schema name dot routine name the third uh, op, uh, argument a3 is for passing the rebind options the resolve uh, any or conservative reopt we can say none always once app reuse you can say yes or no so that particular uh, options like the rebind options we can pass it the second variation takes about five arguments again a1 is routine type uh, ptf a2 is schema name a3 is module name a4 is routine name a5 is the rebind options so functionally it is this particular rebind routine package is same as rebind package command this is just an additional tip so up, uh, in addition to rebind routine package there is also another routine available under sysproc dot alter underscore routine underscore package this also takes five arguments uh, routine type first argument second argument is schema name third argument is module name fourth argument is routine name fifth argument is the alter package options like the access plan reuse keep dynamic optimization profile these are all the options available for the alter package command again this routine is going to be functionally same as the alter package command this particular routine will not rebind it only alters the package let's quickly uh, get into the examples so here i am creating a sample uh, like a test database connecting to the test uh, if the procedure is there i am just dropping i am dropping the index i am dropping the table then i am create the table i am showing a create table statement then i am loading the data okay so this is all already done okay uh, 
let me show you the count and a uh, few sample records okay how how it is there okay copy that it's a huge uh, uh, table it's uh, about uh, 12 million records roughly so that's why it's taking a lot of time yes 12 million records approximately 12 million records exactly and you will see here two columns id and name id is like 5000 and name is a okay it's just some sample data we, i have fetched only three rows it's totally having 12 million records i'm exi i'm creating a stored procedure here okay db2 hyphen td we have myproc.sql It's a very simple stored procedure. First three statements are commented out in any case. It updates the table A we just got we created. Name as HHH where ID equal to 5000. So it's just a single update statement it is executing. This stored procedure is executing. So once the stored procedure got created, it will create a uh, package for you the dbm uh, will create a package for you so i am just querying the syscat dot packages table okay so i have queried so this is the package name see this is how it is so we are not able to map this in a direct way for this routine this is the package name like that it is some kind of number weird number okay so i'll copy this package name and look at here the package create time so it is like 61850 and the package alter time the package last bind time it's also the same uh so 1850 1850 1850 so the last bind time explicit bind time is all the same alter time create time is all the same okay and let me just copy that here okay again i am querying the same syscat dot packages table for few more information okay so the for the same package name dynamic rules so these are all some attributes that are available in the syscat dot packages which we can uh, set during like for example reopt where app reuse uh, these things you can set using your rebind package uh, command or the rebind package routine that we have uh, discussed and keep dynamic which you can set using the alter package routine okay so the package got created now let us look at the content of the package so in order to look at the content of the package i am using the db2 explain command hyphen d uh, database name hyphen c creator is db2 inst1 the package uh, number which we got here okay so the package is uh, the explain plan is generated for that package and it is output is available in pkg dot out okay here you can see the bind timestamp is 1850 there is no change the query is there update table and it is using a table scan operation there is no index on this table so it is using a table scan operation so this this package is got created once we create the stored procedure now after that i create an index on that particular table again this is going to take some time it's a huge table so after uh, 
creating the index so the creation of index is not going to modify the package in any manner so uh, what I'm doing is I'm just okay still doing the create package so I'm copying uh, I'm just executing the again the same command explain command to see that the package is unchanged okay the create index is taking a lot of time okay it got created I have re-executed the same uh, explain plan command. See, it's still 1850 only because it did not rebind. We have just created the index, so it's going through the table scan. No change here. Okay. Now let us execute the uh, stored procedure. I'm just calling the stored procedure. Uh, call my proc, and after that I'm rolling back the transaction then again I am uh, calling again rolling back again calling again rolling back I am just doing it some three times so that we can look at the average time okay and since it's a very huge table it's going for a index scan uh, table scan it's going to take about uh, 9 to 11 seconds yeah so it's going to 10.65 seconds for the first execution you can look at the real value 10.655 so it's 0 minutes 10.655 seconds user and sys are actually the CPU time uh, real is actually the uh, elapsed time so thrice it has executed you can see on an average it takes about 10 seconds okay now we can what we can do is we can in our case it's a simple scenario so we can issue the db2 rebind package package name uh, so that it can uh, regenerate the access plan but we are not going to do this first i am trying to show you what alter routine package is okay so i am calling the invoking the alter routine package it's a stored procedure p under schema name db2 inst1 no module name here and the procedure name is my proc I'm saying access plan reuse no so which means that it should generate the access plan again okay so the rebind has been successfully completed again I'm querying the syscat.packages table for that particular package look at the create time that it won't change because you used only alter routine package the create time won't change alter time has changed here see it is 26.06 6.26 instead of 6.18.50 it is 6.26 so alter time has changed but look at the bind time the last bind time explicit bind time has not changed this is because the alter routine package only alters the package it will not do the bind operation okay so because of that if you look at uh, the uh, package information right we'll just generate the package information again leave pad pkg dot out here you can see the bind timestamp is unchanged okay and it is still going through the full table scan only we created the index it's not reflecting here it won't reflect here because alter package won't change the package it won't rebind the package so what happens when I execute again here again I, I should get a response time of roughly 10 seconds 
9.8 seconds seconds ten seconds so no change here actually okay now next what we will do is we will call the sysproc dot rebind routine package like this with app reuse no copy this okay See now it is taking some time, right? Because it is doing that rebind. So once it is done, you can see here for that particular package, create time is not changed, alter time has changed. Okay. But so you can see the alter time, the last bind time, and the explicit bind time. This has changed. So this is the important thing, okay? Because it is doing the actual rebind uh, along with the alteration. So let's go and look at the explain plan uh, for that. The content of the uh, package. The package is generated. I'll use the leaf pad command again. See here the time is changed. And look at here, it is using the index scan. Okay, because it has rebinded it. Okay. Now we will try to execute it. Again, I am executing like, uh, sorry, again, I am executing thrice. See the first time it took only 1.17 seconds and look at the I mean 0 0.05 0 0.06 tremendous improvement in the execution uh, because of the index and we since we did the rebind uh, the access plan has been regenerated so it is using that index and because of that it is very fast so I will connect reset again I will connect to test again I will execute it twice Okay. I'm just doing that so that uh, when I do the connect reset, your memory everything goes away. So the the next time I connect, my all uh, buffer pools and are are all getting in, in initiated now only. So still I'm getting tremendous improvement. See here, first time you will find some 0.73 seconds because it has to move into the buffer pool. Once it is caged, you can see 0 0.04, 0 0.05, how much uh, fast it is. And I will roll back and again I am dropping the procedure, dropping the index, dropping the table. Okay, Copy that and doing a connect reset. It's going to take some time. So the concept is that, so when you use uh, the you can use the rebind routine package you can use alter routine package these two are very effective you, even if you don't know the package name uh, we can easily uh, use this particular uh, rebind routine package specifically to rebind a particular routine which can be a stored procedure trigger udf uh, stuff like that okay so this is very useful utility uh, and you can also use alter routine package for altering it uh, but it w it won't be reflecting until you do a rebind okay so that's the difference between those two packages that's it in this video tutorial thank you all for watching please subscribe to my channel db2 luw academy see you in next video thanks bye bye